Page four, theme by Mozart. This is a melody from one of his piano sonatas. I studied this sonata in college. It's gorgeous. You can go search it out by that K331 number and listen to it. At the top, they're saying your position. Check your hand position. I don't really agree with what they're doing here. You're, when you're relaxed, your fingers have a natural curl to them. That's the position. Don't curl them up and grab a ball or anything. Because you can feel when you do this, you can feel tension here. We don't want the tension. Just relax. The firm fingertip thing is because at this knuckle right here, if you can see it, here, sometimes when you play that knuckle will collapse. You don't want it to collapse. You want it to stay there. Don't, don't let it collapse each time because that means you're playing on this part of the finger. Sometimes we do want to play on that part of the finger, but not here. We want to play more on the tip. Not the tippity tip, but more on the tip. If it's a natural curl, that's where it's going to be. But try and stay as relaxed as you can without falling off the bench or whatever. Huh? Let's look at this theme here. It's four lines long, treble and bass clef, three, four times signature. So there's three counts in a major and a quarter and all gets a count. I'm going to take both hands at the same time because it's just one hand or the other playing. The, the left hand comes in first and second finger on a B, and I'm assuming you know the names of the notes in the music. You need to know these if you don't. Drill yourself and learn them. So it's a B here. And the right hand comes in on second finger on a D here. So we're in middle C position. Okay. It's the quarter note. One, two, three. One, two, three. And you just go through and play it all together. Don't worry about how fast you take it your speed and hesitate all you need to. It doesn't matter right now. You go through and put the hands together. Then go back through it slowly and get rid of any hesitations you have. Work on those spots so it is a steady beat throughout. Then once you have that, we can add in the articulation, which is the slurs. I'm listening for the phrases. I'm going to lift up between the phrases. Because remember, in a slur, you don't always lift up before and after a slur. Yeah. All a slur tells you is to connect the notes within the slur. It doesn't tell you anything about before and after. But a phrase, you generally lift up, like taking a breath between the phrases. So you can hear the musical sentences. Well, I need to speed it up so I can hear the sentences. Now here it's... To me, almost the first two lines is one sentence. I could take it all as one thought. Or maybe I want to break it up. The sentence is too long. Well, I could go here. Make that a sentence and then go on. It's hard to tell. You have to decide what do you think the sentences are. And then you can lift up between them. I think for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to treat the first two lines as one sentence and the last two lines as another sentence. So at the end of the second line, you're here. To go to the third line here, I'm going to lift up a little bit. So I'm not going to connect those notes. Otherwise, I think I'm going to try and connect everything. Now, you can't connect repeated notes, but you do the best you can. And once you have an idea of the articulation, you can think about the dynamics. They give you a P at the beginning. Piano, soft, and that's it. So the whole thing is a gentle piece. Whatever you think soft is, you decide what soft is. Not super soft, just soft. And then finally the speed. Well, rather slowly doesn't say a lot. Don't drag it. Don't go. That's slow, and it just drags. See, that doesn't work well on a piano because it, the, it's too percussive. It's got to flow. I, I think more like a almost a medium moderato to me. To me, that's about where it would go. You can take it your speed. It's not fast and it's not slow. I, 
They say rather slowly, but I think uh, somewhere in the middle is a little better. Let's play it together slowly and double check the notes and the rhythms. So I'll give us three counts, one ready go. Now let's just play it slowly together. Let's make sure you play in the right note at the right time. And this is after you've learned it. Learn it first and then try it with it. One, ready, go. A duet for this at the bottom of the page. I'd like to play that and you play what we just played. I'm going to speed it up just a little bit and again I need you to go up an octave on the piano. So just pretend the middle C instead of here is up here. So instead of here you're up here. You play it up here. Play it all up here. I'll give us three counts and let's try it together. One, ready, go. 